Hi there, my name is Basim Bashay, and I'm a Senior Technical Program Manager on the Storage Gateway team at AWS. Today I'm going to be providing a quick overview on the latest AWS Storage Gateway hardware appliance. So let's jump right in. To start, I want to highlight some of the benefits of using the hardware appliance as a deployment option for Storage Gateway customers. The hardware appliance is a dedicated standalone physical server that is deployed on premises and provides all the required CPU, memory, network, and SSD cache resources for running Storage Gateway. There is no need for any other IT infrastructure except for connectivity to AWS. Since this is a dedicated appliance, you can expect consistent and predictable performance for your local applications that are using the storage resources provided by the hardware appliance. The hardware appliance provides a simple deployment and setup experience as it comes preloaded with the storage gateway software and is ready for customer activation. It also integrates seamlessly into existing IT environments as it supports standard storage protocols like NFS, SMB, and iSCSI. You can order the hardware appliance directly from the AWS console and the appliance can be shipped globally. Now let's look at some use cases for using the hardware appliance. You can deploy the hardware appliance to displace older storage infrastructure with a new scalable hybrid cloud storage solution. The hardware appliance can be deployed at remote sites or branch offices that may not have IT infrastructure or staff. It requires a minimal footprint and is managed remotely. You can use the hardware appliance for demanding workloads that require consistent and predictable performance since it does not require the provisioning of any shared virtual infrastructure. The hardware appliance can be used to isolate the storage resources within your IT environment in order to meet performance, compliance, or security requirements. To order a storage gateway hardware appliance, there are a few simple steps to follow. You start by logging into the AWS console using your AWS account credentials. Then you navigate to the storage gateway console either by searching for storage gateway at the top of the console in the search bar or by selecting storage gateway under the storage category in the menu. Depending on if you are an existing Storage Gateway customer or using the service for the first time, you will see a different screen as your next step. We will review both of these console experiences in the demo to follow. For new Storage Gateway customers, you will be greeted by a welcome page describing the Storage Gateway service. Click Get Started to proceed. You will then choose the type of Storage Gateway you would like to use, File Gateway, Volume Gateway, or Tape Gateway. Then click Next. You will then select the type of deployment option you would like to use. There are several virtual machine deployment options, as well as EC2. For our demo, we will select the hardware appliance. Then click the order appliance to start the ordering process. All hardware appliance orders are processed by AWS Elemental, and you will see a pop-up message letting you know that you are being directed to the AWS Elemental Appliances and Software Console to request a sales quote. Click the button to proceed. Now we will review the ordering process if you are an existing Storage Gateway customer. You can order a hardware appliance by clicking on the Hardware tab in the Storage Gateway console and then the Order Appliance button at the top of the screen. You will then see a pop-up message letting you know that you are being directed to the AWS Elemental Appliances and Software console to request a sales quote. Click the button to proceed. Whether you are an existing Storage Gateway customer or new to the service, once you've landed at the AWS Elemental console, you will see a sales quote request form asking for all the necessary information to generate a sales quote. You will need to fill out the contact fields and select the quantity and type of appliance you're interested in ordering, then submit the request. Once submitted, you will see a green banner at the top of the page indicating that the quote request has been submitted successfully. You should expect to get a response with a quote within one to two business days. You will receive an email when the quote is ready for review. You can also review your quotes and orders by clicking the Quotes and Orders button in the Storage Gateway console. You will see a pop-up message letting you know that you are being directed to the AWS Elemental Appliances and Software console to review your sales quotes and order history. Click the button to proceed. The Quotes and Orders page will display all the quotes that you have requested and will allow you to submit a purchase order to complete the ordering process. You will also be able to track the shipment of your order from this page once that information is available, and you will be able to see your full order history. I hope this was an informative overview of the AWS Storage Gateway hardware appliance. You can find additional information and documentation by accessing the Storage Gateway hardware appliance product page. Thank you.